my room is finally clean so you know what that means after four years on youtube it's finally time for a room tour you won't be seeing much of me in this video because i look like this but instead just gonna look at all the fun stuff on my walls and it will be just fine if you're new here subscribe my room is basically just my interest thrown up all over the walls so if you like anything you see you will like me as a person hopefully so here we go starting over here we have this spider-man street sign i got a hobby lobby this shelf we have all of my lanyards we have this little collection of random stuff we have veronica and archie even though riverdale's going extremely downhill we have spider-man with captain america shield we have my movie buff award that i gave myself and this disney popcorn bucket and andy's shoe also from disney we have my dvd collection these are all of my favorite dvds in the front we have this dutch bros ornament if you don't have dutch bros in your state i'm so sorry and these go to D have all of my coming of age movies and then my one direction movies at the end this is a hello kitty et coaster from universal and this is a la la land rock that i painted at easter because instead of painting eggs we did rocks we have what i like to call my warp tour shrine this is my signed as it is set list from san diego this is austin knight's hair dye that i still haven't used yet this is the day that i worked with ali fm in ventura and then i have tour water which like when the bands drink monsters on stage it's actually tour water i thought that was the coolest thing ever so i saved the can because i'm weird and then we have nail polish moving down again we have austin and patty they did the little rock sound collab and i bought the entire bundle because i'm trash and then we have that little quote back there we have, um, this is from Love, Simon DVD. It's like his notebook and there's extra emails with Simon in blue. And then we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, which I haven't finished reading yet. And then down on the very bottom, we have a bunch of Disney stuff that doesn't up here. We have my outdated Halloween sign that you see in the back on my Instagram stories. Um, I love Halloween, so I'm keeping it up. The main flag. It says control what you can, confront what you can't, which is lyrics and it leads into my bed. I have a queen size bed. On the back side of the shelves, we have a Spider-Man Homecoming poster. We have an as is poster. Are you seeing a theme here? I stole this off a garbage can at Warp Tour. Good moment for me. Panic at the Disco, Pray for the Wicked. And then we have a Water Parks print from Alternative Press that's signed. And then... We have Wally and Eve, have won them at Pixar Pier at Disneyland. We have my blanket that it's getting colder here. It has Tsum Tsums all over it. Disney nerd. We have Podameron. We have a signed picture of Jenna and Julian that I got when I met them at VidCon. They wrote my name on it and everything. I was freaking out. The Red Card Trolley Sunday Holder from Disneyland. These are all of my Marvel Pops and my Groot Sipper that I got at Disney. Poor Peter Parker back here took a little tumble. Spider-Man Guardians print, that's not gonna say it, <laughs> that I got at Long Beach Comic Con. This is a frame I got at Disney. I haven't put anything in it yet. Here's a bunch of pens I got in Tokyo and a Magic Band and my Gaston zipper. We have this Fast Pass slash ticket slash annual pass frame that I made. And then we have Hercules on VHS, which I don't have a VHS player, but I love Hercules. Then we have a bell pop, a bunch of books that I need to read. And we have this cool Wonder Woman print from either Long Beach Comic Con or, oh my god, or WonderCon. I went to both this year. Um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I listened to the audiobook, but this is so good. Their print from Comic Con, this is like an original art piece um i love it so much the lady was really excited that i bought it <laughs> then we have this little tub that i got in high school then we have all the harry potter books back there and then down here we have a couple of other books i thrifted all of those books love the thrift store and then those are my pop boxes because i know it's like against the rules to keep them out of the box but i like to do it and i keep the boxes just in case it was very helpful when we moved actually and then just a pile of pillows and stuffed animals. This is really cool. I think this is unique and I like it a lot. It is all of my favorite actors and actresses um, in this little film strip that's discontinued from Ikea. So we have Saoirse Ronan, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Greta Gerwig, 
Tom Holland, Millie Bobby Brown, and Camila Mendes. Then this is my closet. It's kind of a disaster. It's too full. Um, there it is. And then there's just a bunch of scrapbook memorabilia stuff, all my cards from middle school, high school, everything. And then as we make our way over to my dresser, we have my prized possessions, aka my music magazines. So we have Roxanne Patty and Austin, first ever Water Parks cover as a full band. This is my car key. Then we have, as this first cover on Rock Sound, um, the Oscar edition for last year with Lauren Metcalf, Sasha Ronan, and Greta Gerwig, GQ Australia, which, oh my gosh, the most wonderful person in the world sent to me. I love you. Thank you for this. Um, and then we have shortlist Timothy Chalamet and guitar player with Jake Giska. And do you see that as Coupe Coup de Main? I don't know, whatever. It's New Zealand. From New Zealand and it's of Nile. It's a signed Fall Out Boy print that I bought. And then we have a giant zoomed in photo of Harry Styles face because quality content. These are all my sweaters. <laughs> they stay in the corner because they're too big for the drawers. This is my emo trash can. I literally made this because of Call is Cool. I don't know if you watch her videos, but it's covered in stickers and supposed to have CDs in it, but then, as you can tell from over here, I have too many CDs now, so it's just a trash can. This is my other prized little area. It is my record shelf. Currently, we have Water Parks Double Dare. Can you tell I love water parks? I can't. Wow. Okay. This is from Hobby Lobby as well. Those are from eBay. This is a rock I painted as well on Easter. Um, that's just a skull piggy bank. We have a Halloween mug again, and another Halloween decoration, and that's my beloved peace sign necklace that I've worn to all my Greta shows. This is a Disney squishy that my dad thought was a marshmallow and tried to eat. So I'll just throw that in this drawer. I will do an updated pin collection video if y'all want this. Comment down below if you do. Back to this, we have all of my records. I'll also be doing an updated record collection. These are all of my new records. And then these records, my dad bought a mystery pack of 25 records for like 25 bucks, I think, on eBay. And he gave it to me for Christmas. So there's a lot of older stuff in there, plus Hamilton. And then my mom made those books. They are yearbooks because I was homeschooled from the middle of sophomore year until the end of my senior year because high school sucks. So <laughs> there's that. And then this is what I like to call my little baby Greta shrine because I have this Metro Times Greta Van Fleet magazine that I ordered from Detroit very secretly and taught the internet how to do. And then my Greta Van Fleet army patch back there from the Facebook group. Love that. Those are all of my CDs. None of the CDs are actually in there. It's just the cases. They're all actually in my car. And then we'll make the way over to my office. This is where I package all of your sticker orders. A Austin City Limits koozie. I flew to Texas and saw Greta Van Fleet in Austin. And it has Miller Light on the back, which is the stage they played. And then there's this really cute picture of them that came out while I was in Texas. And then this map of the festival and my lighter for my candle. Then I forgot to show you guys up here. That's a wall. That's a wall with a door. So we're making our way to the third wall. I'm hoping, I always hate in room tours when you can't tell what wall they're on. So I hope this is kind of giving it justice. There's all these shelves up top. So I'll show you those. We have, I have to do it over my head. Good thing I'm tall. Moana. These are all of my friends. The support squad, I love them to pieces. Um, that's a Minnie Mouse jar from Tokyo. This is my graduation cap that I designed. You can't see the words on the bottom, but it says, thanks for the memories, which is a follow boy lyric, and then next stop everywhere. Then we have my graduation Minnie Mouse plush. This sign that says, seize the night in Latin, because I'm a major night owl. Then we have Mickey Mouse in his cast member uniform, because I want to be a cast member one day. Then we have me, Tess, and Jazzy at a thrift store in Austin. We have my meet and greet picture with state champs from Warp Tour, which I think is really cute. I literally just said, do something funny, and I thought like, maybe there'd be a couple of peace signs and like a tongue out, and we got this glorious masterpiece. So that's what the third wall looks like. 
in full. The fourth wall of the room, definitely the most cluttered, but I think it looks organized and cluttered, hopefully. I've done a tour of this on my Instagram stories, so you've probably already seen this, but I'll do it in detail again. This is Harry Styles' The Sacramento Show, which is a show that I went to a test. We were in the pit. I didn't take this. I took it off Tumblr and printed it out. Then we have another little Disney shrine, glasses from Tokyo, BB-8 zipper from Disneyland. Um, a lovely girl at D23 gave me this name tag that she had taken, taken from work that she had to use. It's like an extra one day, and she thought it was cool that it had my name on it, so she gave it to me in California, and this is from Florida, which is so weird and cool. I love the internet. Then, this, these are from Morgan's first trip out here ever. This is from Disney World. This is from Disneyland. This photo is me and Miranda and the founder of Hope for the Day and Patty Walters at their mental health workshop. Love that his photographer captured this because this meant a lot to me, so I framed it on my wall. Then we have really not very close to Harry's kissy glasses, but I bought them anyways and they sit with the Polaroid book that he sold on tour. Then we have Mr. Jake Kiska getting his hair stuck in his guitar at ACL. This is the most iconic moment ever. The crown I wore to Harry Styles' show in Sacramento. This sombrero Donald is from Tokyo. That plush is from Tokyo. And this is a Lucky Red Elephant that I've had for like, I don't know, six years now. Then we have Lady Bird, my favorite movie of all time. A Polaroid of my dog. We have mini hot sauce from ACL. A Whataburger number that Tesla for me. More Disney stuff. Disney stuff, all five One Direction albums. This is money that I sort for different purposes. Um, that mirror can you get me for my birthday. This plate is from Target. These are stickers from Texas. Fall Out Boy confetti. We have Greta Van Fleet on the cover of Kerrang! Magazine. We have me, Tess, and Chris outside of a bar on 6th Street in Texas. That was really fun. Then this is all my friends after Greta set at ACL. And then over here, we have a lot. This is a mood board I made at the beginning of 2018. It's a postcard from Texas. Me and Tess's first photo booth pictures at Amoeba. We have tons of Polaroids. It's my Nile ticket, my water parks ticket, some buttons. This is my letter that Greta Van Fleet sent me in the mail, which is like amazing. I cannot believe I have one of these. More Polaroids. This is a list of every concert I've been to since the beginning of 2017. I write them all down. Um, I need to update this, actually. Concert fund. We have my rose from Josh Kiska himself. He threw it down to me um, at their show in San Francisco. Oakland. I went to the show in Oakland. The newest addition to my pop collection is Gert from Runaways. If you have Hulu, go watch the show. It is so good. I love it. And she's a purple-haired superhero. I Upcoming shows which is outdated. I ended up not going to Sacramento, I had a fever, and then Pomona was his last week. Best show of my life. Oh my gosh, it was so good. But I need to update that for my shows in January. This is Greta Van Fleet lyrics from Age of Man. That took me a second. Then we have more spooky things down here. I got these on sale at Michael's after Halloween for like 80% off. And then this is from the Target $3 section, and it has the letters that go on this thing. Here we have all of my pins that I want to have on display. I have a lot of Disney like memorabilia, specific moment, expensive pins, but these are all the ones like I really like to display. Plus my music pins and pins from small shops. Mainly we have Millie pins and fan flare. Then we have a picture of Harry Styles from every show I've seen him at. I cut that out and put it up here on my little pin board. Then we have this the lights fell because I put them up with tape, like a dork. This calendar on my desk. Um, these are my fortunes and hearts for my Panic at the Disco shows. Um, it's a pin from Tokyo. This is a jug from Mini Monster in LA. My ACL wristband. This has batteries, SD cards in it. it has portable chargers in it. This little board um, has a lot. Uh, <laughs> I like trying to go through this fast but also go through it so you know what everything is. Nick Jonas set list, cards from Millie Pins. This is my fake Stillwater Almost Famous pass I made. My mom gave me this for Christmas. Um, 
my friend sent that to me from when she saw Kinky Boots in New York. Signed Hamilton Playbill from San Francisco. Me and Camille's first pictures ever taken. Me and Tessa Urban Outfitters, my Beyonce $5 bill that I got at Beautycon almost four years ago now, which is insane. And then this is a print again from a Comic Con um, of the Princesses on the Teacups. And then this is a picture from every show Tessa and I have been to together. We're up to nine, I think now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Nine shows if you count ACL as three. So there's that. And we made it back to the beginning 20 minutes of talking later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with your favorite part. If you have any questions, I can answer pretty much anything. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my room. See you next time.